the most important Virgin Galactic video ever. Watch to the end of this video. Make it the very first 100% watch time. You're going to want to watch to the end. It's really important. Everybody, watch it all the way through. I'll check my analytics later. Now, on with the video. Virgin Galactic, ticker symbol SPCE. Probably the most important Virgin Galactic video I have ever put out. I said I was going to buy up to 4,000 shares of Virgin Galactic. I was uh, a few thousand less a few moments ago. Well, we're now up to 3,415. It's now the biggest part of my portfolio. Why? Why have I just bought more in this video? We've got Sensei on the phone. We're going to show you some charts. We're going to show you Sir Richard Branson's uh, allocation and also a special interview with Sir Richard Branson himself, what he is doing with the stock and what he's doing with the tickets as well. All that's coming up in this video. This is going to probably be the most important Virgin Galactic video I have ever made and I backed it up with my own money. Let me share with you my actual position. Look at this. I said I would buy more and I have. My average is now 238. There's my average. It's 16% of my brokerage account, 16.4. I've just taken profits from Amazon and Apple to do this. 3,415 shares. There it is. My average is 238. I've just bought it at uh, 171. This morning on Virgin Galactic, we had barcoding, algo trading. That's when computers are coming in, buying the stock in and out very, very quickly. That tells me something is about to happen. If you've ever tried doing that, don't try and do that. If you think you can buy it at 170 and sell it at 171 and buy it back at 170 and sell it at 171, it's not going to work. I've tried it. I tried it with Rolls Royce. It doesn't actually work. Uh, people with far more, uh, with far better technology than you, far faster. And remember, the market makers have to make their little cut as well. It's just not going to work if you try and get in and out on one penny, one cent. You need a few cents, a few pennies in there to make any difference. So if you try and scale out trade it along uh, along with the algos you've got no chance at all i've tried it and tested it and uh, every time i buy it i buy it at the high price every time i sell it i sell it at the low price uh it never actually pays off so don't even try that so anyway this video is the most important virgin galactic video i've ever done i've got sensei waiting to bring information i've got the interview with sir richard branson as well plus um Tap the like button, help share this out to as many Virgin Galactic investors as possible. Go below the video. Don't just tap the like button, leave a comment. I'll reply to all your comments and also share the video as well. There's a share button. Put it on your social media, put it on, um, on your socials and I will reply wherever I see it. Click above my head and that will take you to my X account and uh, from there I can, uh, I'm can. i running a poll and uh, tell me, do you think that Virgin Galactic is going to make us rich or are we going to lose all our money? we got a poll running right there. So go and check that out and uh, I'd like to get your thoughts. But we're going to go over to Sensei in a few moments. We've also got that interview with Sir Richard Branson as well and why I've just bought more. So, Let's uh, let's have a quick look at uh, what Richard Branson's allocation of the stock is right now, just before we go into that very, very important interview. Right. This is a very, very, very important information here that I'm share sharing on the screen with Sensei. Good afternoon, Sensei. How are you today? I'm doing very well, Martin. Thanks for having me on the show. It's um, It seems like it's a very important um, video, this. Uh, you've already told me about this interview, um, and I thought I'll, sh I'll, I'll show the, the shares that Ri Sir Richard Branson actually owns of the company because it will play a very big part in what you're about to say about the interview itself. Um, so if you look, look here, we, we've, we've got all the shareholders of SBC, and Sir Richard Branson is the highest shareholder. He owns about 8.3% of the company. That is a very large position. Um, and why is this is important is because we, there is also a lot of um, uh, a FUD out, out there in the market. If you look anywhere, some people say, oh, he's, he's sold all his shares. He doesn't own much of SBC. He owns a lot. He owns over 8%. This is a big deal. And it's even big. Uh, it's going to be a bigger deal once you explain... Um, 
uh, what what you've heard in this interview. So I, I just thought I'd put this in Absolutely. here um, just to show people. Thank you. Yeah, and we're going to come on to that interview in a second and why I've just uh, increased my personal allocation now. I'm up to 3,415 shares and it's going up as we talk about it. And if you look on there, you can see that uh, $77 million worth of shares for Sir Richard Branson. We've got uh, Vanguard, we've got uh, Geode Capital Management, Goldman Sachs, all of those companies, institutions there below. Also, what we've got as well to share with you is the Virgin brand as well. Virgin also owns shares in Virgin Galactic, which of course is the majority shareholder, is Sir Richard Branson again. So that's only part of his allocation. Why is this important? Well, it's important because it tells you the sentiment. A lot of people are fearful of Virgin Galactic and worrying it's going to go bust. And I've, me and Senzer both said it can, it can, but the chances of that right now is about 40%. It's high. However, 60% it's not and going to make us a lot of money. Going to come back to Sensei's chart in a few moments, but uh, I wanted to share with you uh, this interview with Sir Richard Branson. So we're going to look at that now and you can see uh, it's gone up this morning quite significantly, actually. It's quite a decent bounce. And as you can see, I've massively, massively increased my position from one and a half thousand to 3,415 in one go this morning. That's my biggest ever single purchase of any stock on my account. That's my real money, my real shares. I was down 45%. I'm down now just 27%. So without further ado, have you smashed the like button? Have you subscribed to this channel? Have you already shared this video out? Have you gone below and left a comment? Have you done all those things? Well, now it's time to let you see that interview uh, with Sir Richard Branson. Do you believe, though, that in our lifetime, anyone who wants to go will be able to pay for it and affordably go to space? In your lifetime, yes. <laughs> um, if, I, if, if I have to hurry up and de develop a virgin life pill, so it can be in my lifetime too. Yeah, so, I mean, we are building a, a fleet of um, spaceships. Will you ever do it again? I booked it for my 80th, 90th and 100th birthday and I'm an optimist so my 110th as well. So there we go. We've just heard from Sir Richard Branson. Now, why is this so important? On his 80th birthday, he's bought tickets. He's bought tickets for his 90th birthday, 100 as well and he even joked about 110. Um, he's 74 years old now. So why is that important? Well, six years from now, he has a ticket to fly with Virgin Galactic. We have seen and that the noises that I'm getting from Virgin Galactic has always been the same. It's always been consistent. I've said it repeatedly. I've made lots of videos saying this. It's going to $1.50. It's just about touched that now. And I've always said I'm not trying to time the market. I am not bothered whether I buy it at $150. Two, three, five, ten, doesn't matter. Because if it goes to a hundred, who cares? But however, I do want to be in. So I bought it this morning, and as you can see, it's dramatically gone up. I am now down just 26%, which is phenomenal. Uh, I bought this first at $35. So Richard Branson not only is the main shareholder in Virgin Galactic, Virgin Brand is a shareholder, a major shareholder in Virgin Galactic. Richard Branson has bought a ticket to fly at tickets to fly at 18. 90 and 100 years of age. Does that give you the indication that he's about to sell out his position? This is his legacy. I have worked for Sir Richard Branson on the Virgin Experiences. Want to be absolutely clear, I've not worked personally for Sir Richard Branson and I've not worked for Virgin Galactic. Some people misquote me. I've worked on the Virgin Experiences. I know what this means to, Ritz, to Sir Richard. I know that the... Um, the road to, to uh, profitability is not just the flights. It's the experiences around the flights. And uh, today uh, we've seen uh, uh, Algo Trading, which positions the stock for a big move um, downward or upward. 
But I think that we are, we're at the point now of institutions jumping on in. I have plenty of allocation to this stock. 600 shares to go if I get to 4,000. I often, often get asked, why 4,000? Because that is balanced of my portfolio. You don't go all in on any stock. It doesn't matter how bullish you are. Look at it going up as I'm talking about it. This is really, really great news. I think this will be the most important video I've ever put out on my channel, not only for Virgin Galactic. For me personally, my investment of this is now more bullish than at any other point on any other stock. Apple, Tesla, you name it. I couldn't be more optimistic on this right now. I've jumped in at the right time. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm excited to bring you this video. Please do smash the like button, share it. But now we're going to go over to Senze with his chart position and we're going to have a look at this. Very, very important part. The charts, it, for me, it's all about Sir Richard, what's going on, the fundamentals, the relationships that I've built on uh, on my X account. Click above my head for all those polls and information. If you want to see who follows me on X uh, from Virgin Galactic and so on, click above my head to that. But we're now going to go over to uh, Sensei. So uh, Sensei, uh, show me your charts. What do you have here for us today? Yes. Um, so, th so that was an interesting interview. But now let's look at the charts on um, <clears throat> uh, away from the fundamentals, more from a chart perspective. Um, what we've seen is we've we've finally come below this this two dollar level. Um, this has always been the time to accumulate for a long term position. We have this today um, seen that we are actually bouncing back. Uh, Martin did say he bought this morning, and the reason is because we were close to that one fifty level. Um, there's no guarantee we're going to get to that one fifty, and there's and there's no guarantee that we won't. But but um, as Martin said, it, it doesn't really matter. The difference between 170, 150, one dollar isn't that much, and that's why we've been saying, let's not buy at four dollars because four dollars um, down fifty percent, you become into a low value zone. So you, so that's not the greatest low value zone. But under two dollars, which is under this level here is a time to accumulate because worst case at that point you drop 50 percent and you come down to one dollar um but 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 the, our base case isn't a bankrupt sbc um you can see uh, richard branson is actually so bullish that the company's going to be around in seven years that he's even buying tickets for that far on um our ba base case um yes we say 30 40 percent chance going to go bankrupt but our base case is this company is going to bottom out at some point um some point between two dollars and one dollar so if we think it's going to bottom out here for a long term position, this is a great time to be accumulating. Um, and, th and that's what and that's what we've done. So we, uh, Martin's bought SBC at this level and we can see we are we have actually got a pop. It could be the reversal bottom. Um, it, it could also not, but it's it, it's in the area where it's at low value. Um, I did actually look at the RSI and, and that gave me another great reason if you look down here this is the rsi we're definitely in the oversold territory um and that's on the weekly so that means we're, we're definitely very oversold um and we can see that the the trend line for the, the rsi we're putting in higher lows and that's what i love to see um if if we hold these lows we're going to put in bullish um, divergence on a, on a weekly time frame um, all the way from December of 2022 that would give us great momentum up um, I will probably see some resistance here at sort of 46 but that move if the RSI comes all the way back to 47 that could be us at four dollars five dollars six dollars um, so we, we are at a point where we have reached support on the RSI at least it's it, um, there is no sort of support and resistance at these levels because SBC has never been here in terms of the chart but in the RSI we can see some support and, and we've hit it um, and I do like to be resourceful with the charts and see what else I'm looking at so the RSI is oversold we're at high high uh, low risk zone on the chart um, so this is a low risk area to be getting into SBC and I do um, have a good feeling about it within the charts as well so the fundamentals are looking good the charts are looking good um, so this might be a point of entry Okay, we got Sensei still with us, and we're going to talk about a short squeeze now. A lot of short interest on this stock. With it going up so much, are we about to get a short squeeze? For those of you who don't understand what a short squeeze is, we're going to look at the figures right now, see if we've got a short interest. Is it increasing? And uh, are we about to get a short squeeze? And then if we get a short squeeze, then we're going up. 
we could go up to four, five dollars in minutes. So let's go over to Sensei now and have a look at uh, the short interest. Have we got any short interest on this stock? Is it going up? And what might it uh, yield for us? Sensei, what do you have? Yeah, so we can see here that we, um, the short interest is, is 63 million shares. This is actually a large, a large amount. Um, this, th this is sort of, uh, when you look here, you can see the ratio is, is sort of 19%. Um, anything above 20% is extremely high short interest. A short, we're at 90%, so that's basically extremely high. And what that means is, um, They've got, uh, we can see here, we've got around six and a half days into, um, that they, they've got time to cover their shorts. I don't know exactly when they took the shorts, but the issue is, um, well, well, it's not really an issue if you're bullish on the stock. If, the, if SBC um, goes up another sort of 10, 15 percent, um, people are going to start having to cover their shorts at a loss um, and start buying the shares back. And, and what that results in is, uh, as Martin said, a short squeeze. So... The fundamentals are looking bullish. The RSI is looking bullish. There's short. There's a lot of short sellers on SBC. We have been going down for. If I'm looking at the chart on the side right now. We've been going down for over seven, seven weeks. Um, I think it might even be more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. We've been going down. If this is the first, um, we have been hammered. So, so we, we're expecting a bounce. And if this is coupled with the low RSI, coupled with a high value zone, coupled with um, the short interest being so incredibly high, there could be a short squeeze um, on the cards, which could, um, in a matter of weeks, hours, days, bring us bring us um, some some nice profits. We could uh, first level. I'm sort of looking at profit taking wise is three dollars, five dollars. There, there will be the levels. Um, let's first see the short squeeze or pr price go up, and, and then we'll start discuss um, profit taking levels. Um, but as you can see, the short the short interest is incredibly high. Thank you very much, Sensei. So another reason to perhaps own the stock. What do you think? Well, there we go. We've we provided you with some information today. I've shared with you my biggest ever purchase of any single stock at any point. Uh, 2,000 shares I've just bought and uh, I was down like 48% uh, or somewhere around that number. I'm now down at 27%, uh, a much, much better position. My average is now 238 just to remind you, we haven't had dilution yet, but if we get that short squeeze in the next few days and we end up above four or five dollars and then we can dilute back down to four dollars, it's all systems go. Because at that point, the company will have plenty of money. It won't be running out of money anytime soon. And uh, it'll also mean that we can build up the, de the Delta fleet and then the institutions will be buying in and we are at a good, we are, we are, we are good to go. So there you go, Virgin Galactic. I always said I would buy more. I've only got another 600 shares to go and I'll be having my full allocation of 4,000 shares. This is my commitment to you. I've been in Virgin Galactic since uh, I started my channel. I've lost a lot of money with it, but I've continued to research it. I go live every day. I've taken the pain with everybody. I've answered every single question personally. Two and a half years, I've answered every single question from every single one of you, members and non-members. I have to focus on the members, but I do still do answer everyone. Everyone knows I've answered everyone's questions. I'm here to support. I'm here to be the most honest person on YouTube TV. Uh, I've gone through all the pain with you, but right now I've achieved and uh, got set my goal and I'm in exactly where I said I would be on day one. We're in at $1.50 or thereabout, just slightly above that I'm not waiting to get at $1.50. This is the point where I want to be in at the bottom or thereabouts. Any lower, it's going to zero. There's no point me buying it at $1.40 and $1.30 and $0.90 cents and $0.50. Cents. None of that makes any sense. I'm either in and I'm going to make a lot of money or I'm going to zero. Right now, uh, it's a 40% chance that uh, Virgin Galactic will go bust. However, there's a 60% chance it's going all the way to $100 a share. Now, after today's video, I would like to announce looking at uh, the way I'm thinking of it and uh, m my overall thoughts on what Sir Richard Branson is saying and what he's saying in between the lines as well 
is I'm now saying 20% chance of Virgin Galactic going bust. I think this is a very, very bullish interview. Very important information that we shared with you today. Um, I think that we've just got a few days before we're going to get a short squeeze. That will make the stock pop up. Then it's uh, we are all the, we're off. We're off to the races. It's all good. So there you go. I'm with you. I put my money where my mouth is. I hope you've watched to the end of this video, supported me all the way through um, because uh, this really is uh, the time to make the next the next generation of millionaires. And I hope many of them are on my channel. Lots of happy, smiling faces. That's it from me. Click above my head for all the links, uh, all the information that you need uh, on, on my on my X account and, and, and all the other things. Over here, more information in the series. And please do uh, join us next for, for another live show here on Martin Lucas Investor. As always, take care of yourselves and each other. Go space.